this automation, we're going to find candidates that don't have a phone number in the system, but have an email. And we're going to send them a survey so we can update their phone number automatically in the system. So the first thing actually that we're going to do is we're going to build a survey to accomplish this. I'm just going to name our survey. So it's going to pop over our website. We could have it go to a specific page if we wanted to. We can add uh, the survey response as a note inside of the system if we, if we want to. And you can also notify someone whenever the survey completes. So we have some options there. So our question is going to be a single line text. We're going to ask, what's the best number to reach you? And then we can save the response directly to the candidate phone field inside the database. You can even put in parentheses, you know, kind of the format that you're after. You know, if, if you want, um, you know, area code included, that kind of deal. So you can kind of customize that. So that is the survey. So back to the automation area. And as we build out the automation, Let's just see something here. So we'll build out the automation. We're going to make it candidate based. Can okay, we can kind of name this? Okay, so it's going to be a standard type automation. So our list that we're going to build. We're just going to name it something similar. So we're going to look for candidates. Phone. We're going to look for candidates that don't have phone numbers. And, but they have emails. So there's 888 in our little test database here that have emails, don't have phone numbers. We could even throw in a condition, you know, to make sure that the candidate status, you know, is not, you know, DNC or DNU, um, you know, if you have one of those statuses, just to make sure that it's people that you actually want to, to get the updated information for. We'll just save that as our list. Then we're going to deploy the survey. So we're going to pick our survey here. Sent through email, let's just say, and then we'll just do from scratch, drag and drop, kind of as our example. And again, you can kind of customize this content to be whatever you want it to be. Have it send from whomever you want. And they can take the survey and off they go. They can you can start deploying this to ensure that candidates are, are getting that information kind of completed. Now, another aspect of this that you can do is you can, you can put kind of multiple attempts onto this. So I'll just show you how you can do this. So again, we're gonna send that same survey. This time we're just gonna copy the same one that we have here. And just save it. Let's call this basically attempt number two. And you can build in as many attempts as you like. So you can have this whole, you could have a whole drip campaign here of, you know, separated out by whatever time frame you're interested in, multiple attempts to try to capture this information. And then as soon as a phone number gets entered in the system, they would get pulled out of this. So you could even put something, you know, so you could have attempt number three here. I'm just going to cancel out of this step. We'll just keep that as a placeholder. Then we could end the automation. We could even put a looping mechanism in place. Say every, um, let's see, every four months, we could add, we could allow candidates to re-enter. So you could create a looping mechanism that you're constantly, you know, every couple of weeks, Every few months, you're constantly having your database phone numbers get uh, populated from directly from candidate input.